Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and we have got another double gameplay vid. So, I'm going to be joining the McLaren Senna Prelims and the Conceptualize a Win event. First, let's start off with the McLaren Senna Prelims. This is the hand that I'm going to be using, because this is basically my options. This is for the JPT stuff, and then the other stuff, and I feel like this will probably be not too bad of a hand. Definitely, hopefully, can get me a ceramic pack. So, first guy, we're not going to go with that, because that um, legendary Nissan's a little bit scary. This guy, I can beat. Yes, I can beat that. Cool. So we're going to be going up against this guy now. Because the Q60 will win there. The Furai will win there. That'll win Karting Circuit. That'll win. That'll actually lose. Then that'll tie. But we should be good then. And they have to use their Cosmo on the dry City Streets medium as well. So that's where the Q50S will then. That's why I'm using the Q50S. Because I'm pretty sure there only, there's only one wet City Streets. So hopefully this will be a good enough hand to get a ceramic pack. Because the JPT ceramic pack is nice since it's still the newest update out and we definitely have some good chances to get some good cars from it that i'm still missing like an epic subaru that's a high tier one or that infinity emerge would also be nice but there you go and the q60 black s is doing very nice in the 14th so it looks like we have well i guess i have the update installed so that's probably why but yeah it looks like we got a relatively fresh bracket then so yeah, I'm definitely lacking the Cosmo, but that should be a win. We should be good right here. Because we'll put this on that. The chair is making a lot of squeaking sounds I'm sitting on. Okay, we'll put you there, you there, you there, and you there. And now let's see how we can do. So that'll be a loss, but that was pretty expected. Then this next one will be a win. I also like the new feature that came with the new update of you can now see your cars like against your opponents that you're playing. This will be interesting because they have 3 2 3, I have 2 3 3. It's in the rain, so they do have ETB, but I do have 2 3 3 spec as well. So this will be interesting to see now. And 2 3 3 actually wins. Nice. So, was not expecting to win that actually, but we do. And now we should also destroy them on this drag right here. Probably 120 points. No, 87 actually. I did underestimate that Nissan a bit. We're 2-0 now. Getting near um, the carbon fiber ranks, but I doubt this is a carbon fiber worthy hand. But let's see. Okay, this guy. We can win that, we can win that. Oh, but I don't know if we can win that city street small. But, let's see. Let us see. I might have noticed a flaw in my deck, though. Might have not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that fast circuit goes. Then we'll win that one mile drag, and we'll win that G-Force test. So, we will have to see if we can win, win against this hand or not, because I'm not too sure. I could have probably picked a different hand, but I wanted to see if maybe we could win this. Because that'll be a tie now. At worst, it'll probably be a tie, I think. I don't think I'll lose any bonus points to him. Then this will be interesting. Because they do have three better handling, but we are better to 60, and it is City Street Small. And it looks like we should be good. Very nice. That Infinity is an amazing car. I definitely recommend you keep it. It's probably the best of the lower Q Ultra Rare Infinities, in my opinion, because of its medium ground clearance. It definitely helps it be a useful lower Q car. This will also be interesting as well, because the C2 has the MRA, but that M45 has the standard tires. And I think the M45 wins, yeah. Alright, so good thing we won that City Street small then, because otherwise we probably would have lost. Actually, we we'd get bonus points here, yep. Okay, so we would have won anyway, but still, good thing that we win that City Street small. Okay, on to the next race now. So we know we can win the City Street small... Now, see, they're using slick tires, but I don't really think I should use slick tires because I kind of need that for the dry, wet city streets, and they don't have a car for that. But I think we can beat them. But maybe not. Because we can win that. We can win that. Hmm. Do we try it? Actually, yeah, I think we can win. We can totally win this. Because we put that there, that there, that there, that there, and that there. And this should be good. We should be good as long as the G37 doesn't sell, which it did not. 
which was pretty expected that it wouldn't because it's got that rear wheel drive standard tires. Q60 Black S might actually win this as well because we do have traction control and ABS against the R390 GT1 road car, and we do actually beat it. Cool. I do need to max that Q60 Black S out. I probably will sometime very soon because it is an amazing car. I will be maxing it out 332 as well, just for the drag specialization, I'm thinking. This will be a loss against the Suzuki Agnes. I could run the Agnes as well, but I need my Infinity for the Whitsetty Streets, and they do not have a car for that. And then we beat the legendary Nissan right here with the Furai. So, two star them, and now we get two prizes and onto the final race, and then we'll be moving on to the concept event. So yeah, see, they don't have a car for Wet City Street, so let's play against them now and see how we can do. Because that'll be a win, that'll be a win, that'll be a win, that might be a win, and that'll be a loss. But we shouldn't even lose too many points on that one mile drag, I bet. And this will also be quite a bit of points, yeah, 106. Then this next race, we will be winning, yep, against the Agnes Sport. I mean, Agnes Super. I definitely want a second C2. Maybe even three or four. So I could have one three three two, two two three three, and then one three two three. So they're all probably good with all those different specs. Then we'll win here at the Furai. And then this will be a loss, but I don't think by too many points. Yeah, see the Q60 Black has stuck right next to it, just the R390 has that better top speed to let it then run away afterwards. So only lost by 55 though, so we still get our two star and can still pick two prizes from the prize board. Very nice. Okay, on to the concept event now, and this is the hand that I'm using for this. Very interesting hand, I'm going very low with the slingshot, which I usually seem to do a lot in concept events. Then I'm using the 908RC for the city streets, and then the rest of the stuff I'm using just to, yeah, use. Okay, so let's see how we can do now in this event. So that'll go there. That will probably go there for now there there and there and now let's see how this hand will do i don't think we should lose too many points really yeah we only lost 83 on this karting circuit against the chevy murray then this will be a win with some bonus points as well 80 then this will actually be interesting to see oh and the oxy actually does beat the gt90 cool this will be a win and this next race will also be a win i think if i remember correctly Oh no, this is actually the one I was interested in. Because we do have good MRA with the 908RC. They have a bit better handling with the E-Legend. But it looks like we do win. Very nice. So, that is one race down. We are now 25th place. Now, I feel like I should hopefully... Oops, no, not that. Hopefully, win a ceramic pack with this hand. I feel like I should be able to. Because I do have one of the best City Streets epics, but it's not maxed. So that's why I'm not too sure. And I do have two legendaries, but both of which... Oh, they actually have a fuse. Engine fuse. Oh, that's interesting choice. So we'll put that there. Or should we put that there? Let's put it like this. Let's see what we can win and lose. Because I wonder if the Oxy can beat the Quasar. The Quasar has good MRA as well. But it's got that crazy good 0-60. to 60, So the Oxy, I'm not sure if it'll be able to keep up. Yeah, the Quasar does beat the Oxia on the Ocean Highway. Then the 908RC will win right here against the Grand Convertible. This will be a loss, but by not very much. Yeah, only 50. And then this will be a win by maybe some bonus points. Yep, 74. And then this last race will also be a win on the Hairpin Road. So that's why I think my hand will work very well, because I have four plausible win conditions and one loss condition that won't even lose by very many points. So I feel like this should be a hand that will work pretty well. Okay, I think we can win this. Yeah, that would be win, win, win. Yeah, might even four wins. I might even get four wins right here. Depends on how badly... Or actually, there, 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 and there. Now let's see. This might be a better strategy. It's probably better to put the 908RC on the drag. So 89, if I had my CC100 Speedster maxed out, I'd probably be using that as well, somewhere in this hand. Peugeot Axia wins against the W12 Nardo. That has a weight fuse in it as well. Citroen GT will win here, very nice. Very useful prize car that I'm very happy I got. 84% win ratio and 950 races on a lower Q Legendary is definitely not bad at all. Then that's 50, 50 points right there. 
and then this will be another win by 91. And so we actually got the two star then. So we're into 10th now. Oh, and that was actually a Whistler's car as well. Does that one still have its two-tone tag? It does. So that one will be getting kept and added to the garage. There we go. Next race now. Win, win, win. Perhaps. Hmm. Oh, I can definitely beat this hand though. Trying to just see what hand I can get the most stars with. And I think this one I can definitely get quite a bit more. Because then we put you there, you on the twisty circuit, you on the twisty road. If I had my Oxyus handling maxed out, that would be very appreciated, I bet. That's a loss by 114, but I feel like we should be fine. Because that'll be a win. We might even get some bonus points on the Ocean City Streets because the GTC concept has zero MRA. Yep, 71. So now we're in the lead. Then this will be a win by 50 against the DB10. And then this last race should also be a win because the DNX also has non-existent MRA. Very nice. So that's a one star anyway, so it didn't really matter who I raced. And the final race now. Let's see who we'll be going up against. That is a rather solid hand. However, can I beat it? Probably not, because I have a lose condition. So don't think I can beat that. That is nearly max, so I don't really want to go for that. This, on the other hand, though, I think I can do. No, they have the Onyx. Never mind. Don't want to do that. Theirs is upgraded a bit more, but... We can win the twisty, maybe win the highway, win that. All right, let's see. Hopefully the Oxia won't let us down. That's basically what we're gambling this race on, is the Oxia not letting us down on the Ocean Highway. Because I don't want to put my fur eye on the Ocean Highway. So this will be a loss, but by only 96. So we're chilling there. Now we need the Oxia to run away from the fur eye as fast as it can. Because it is definitely going to try and catch it. And it did not, luckily. So we are straight chilling now. Then this, unless we lose this, but we don't. All right, good. We don't actually buy it quite a bit. And that's a nearly max. Hopefully they don't 323 it, but that's kind of what it looks like they're going to do right now. Then we beat the Murray. I should probably max out my Murray at some point as well, but I've never actually used it in an event. But that's also probably because it's stuck. And then we lose to the 908 RC, but what's theirs at 212. Okay. And that's it. So we are now into third place, 5-0. and oh, And hopefully I can ceramic pack in this event. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. And yeah, that'll basically conclude it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.